Hello, uh, once again, this is a continuation of how I got 12.5 LinkedIn connections within six months. If you want the full version of this training, you can subscribe to my website for a free trial for 30 days. I help people to grow their LinkedIn connections and achieve the same level of success. Uh, this is a continuation. In part one, we discussed that it is easy for you, for anyone to upload, you know, any contact list until the person we be hit with this problem. The problem is contact file upload paid. Please try again. This causes a lot of frustrations. No matter how you try, you will have this problem. If you call LinkedIn, they will not respond. And the problem is real and it is faced by so many people who want to grow their LinkedIn connections. So here are the main reasons for the problem. Uh, LinkedIn may have placed some restriction. Your ability to upload contacts may be placed on hold until you clear your old contacts. Be simple. So I have discussed the condition why this may arise in study guide one. So you should log on to my website for the 30 day free trial and get my study guide one. So in a short, the reasons to be blocked or the reason why you are blocked could be as a result of the following. You were engaging in illegal activities. Most cases you were not. Uh, you have too many people ignoring your invitation. When you send out invitation, after you have uploaded your file, the invitations are sent out. LinkedIn, uh, we want people to respond to them. But if you have too many ignore or I don't know, your account may be put on restriction. Or you have more than two LinkedIn accounts. Or you have received too many invitations. Or too many, yeah, you have received too many uh, acceptance to your invitation but you have not come back to accept them uh, you have sent too many invitations uh, this could be another reason the sixth reason could be you are misusing the big lion list most cases people will upload the list without cleaning we have done or I have shown to you how to do the scrubbing and validating your data in part one of this training now let's visit the website of LinkedIn where I posted this problem and to see how people uh, view the post. Here is the place where I posted and the responses of people. They are not commenting but so far you can see the post has generated 3448 views this is one of the biggest views I have ever received on posting on LinkedIn of course we only have few comments I have one Daniel Mayer who has commented and my response back to him on how I solve the problem so people viewing your post is a way of attracting more connections. Now let's 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 go back to those who view the posts and see where they are coming from. This is why LinkedIn is very good. Uh, I can see 52 people from his. So I don't know which company is this. 231 people have title of salespersons along with people who have the 
type 2 recruiter so more people who are recruiter also view the post they have the same problem or they do experience the same problem some are ceos and executive director most of the uh, biggest audience is coming from germany now i would like to see who are these people from this particular one company i will click on his to go to their linkedin profile page and i discovered that i have one connection there who must have viewed the post and from that viewing other people i don't know also got to view it so i will click on it to go to the profile of uh, this person that i have connection with the person's name is sumit tapa is a recruiter it's an executive search professional and i want to get back to his own connection which i can say sec my second degree connection through him i will click on second degree connection i will remove the first degree himself i don't want to connect I will then search for these people. I can see a lot of them. He has so many connections. So I would like to get back to these connections through my first degree connection. I will show you how to do this later. If you do it directly, you may not be able to connect with them because Uh, LinkedIn will ask you to enter their emails. As at now, I don't have their emails, but I will show you how you, how I do get to ask them to connect with me using uh, an anyhow software, which I ask somebody to design for me. For now, we'll go back to the presentation. So the problem of not able to upload files to LinkedIn constantly is a huge problem to almost everyone using LinkedIn so let's go on I have already gone through the web page of this presentation I have also done that already so what do you do to solve the problem? You must have connections growth strategy. You must put a strategy in place first to address when such problem arises because we want to get to 30,000 connections. If you don't have strategies in place, you will be frustrated. Your connections will not grow on LinkedIn. This is what is facing many problems. The first thing we will do is we will delete old contacts. I will show you how to do them. And I will show you how to withdraw pending invitation. And you can then automate the sending. You leave the sending of the invitation to a software that can work on your behalf. You can also blog and share we have seen a simple post which i posted on linkedin that is an example of blog and share that has attracted plus three thousand views out of those three thousand views people are coming back to my profile and they are connecting with me and the last part will be i will show you how to run external email marketing outside LinkedIn system that can help to attract people to be connecting with you or more people to be connecting with you. So in, in, in to, to start with or in short uh, the first thing you need to do is to delete your imported contacts. One of the reasons for the problem for LinkedIn to place restriction on you or on the accounts is that 
your imported contact has exceeded 10,000 limits, you should try to delete them all as part of your regular scrubbing of, of non-responsive emails from your contact. I have discussed this in study guide too. You should follow it, but I can give you examples for you. But make sure that you get my study guide too. You go to your LinkedIn, you will click on network and then you click on the number of connections this is your connection don't click on manage all but click on connection do you see open up uh, a new page uh, let me show you a video of it here Here I am. I have clicked on my connect, sorry, my network. And like one of the problem I was showing, you can see I have received more than uh, 1,272 invitations. People have sent me invitations to connect with me. So if this number is too high, which I have not accepted, it may lead to LinkedIn placing restriction on my account. So regularly, even though I cannot clear all the invitations uh, received at once, I constantly do clear because most of this first group of people may not be uh, in my interest. So I didn't accept all of them. So I will accept the new ones and I will then go back to this connections, your connections. I will click on the number, like I was trying to explain in the presentation. It will lead me to a place where I will look for manage and sync imported contacts. I want to manage my imported contacts. I will click on it. When I go to imported contacts, uh, the sync section shows these are contacts we have synchronized from all uh, my old email accounts like Gmail, Hotmail, and so on and so forth and the imported contacts of the past. That is not important. You will click on imported. So this number you will see here, I have imported 5,258. I have shown how I did this from my previous video. After we have cleaned the 25,000, we got 9,000, those 9,000, we split them into 500 email lists. So we started importing them one by one. So if this number exceeds 10,000, you may not be able, if it gets to 10,000, you may not be able to send invitation again. So regularly, after you have uh, uh, imported contacts and you give LinkedIn some few days, up to a week or two weeks, and you can always come around to delete them. But for now, I am not deleting this. So this is how to keep your account free of emails or contacts of people that may not be responding to your invitations. Let's stop here and go back to the presentation. This I have shown already. I have done this demonstration. Uh, the second thing you need to do, I have also done this presentation. We need to accept all the time. You maintain your account all the time to accept. The second thing we need to do is to Make sure that pending 
sent invitations are withdrawn. This is one of the causes of uh, LinkedIn blocking accounts. Uh, I will show you how to do this too. Let's go back to my LinkedIn. When you get back to my network, to manage, you know, invitation you send out, you will click on manage all, and you will see if you have invitation pending uh, that you have received they will all be shown here but i have already cleared those invitation just now so i won't have anything showing until somebody sent me invitation to connect with them again but what about the invitations i sent out to people you will see we have a lot of pending invitations these are people we have uploaded about 5,000. Out of that, for the past one day, only few people have responded. And uh, what do we do in this respect? We need to withdraw them. But before we draw them, I will show you the causes of this sent invitation which are not accepted by many people. Uh, one of the main causes is that you have uploaded emails that are not yet on LinkedIn. It is good. LinkedIn wants you to upload emails so that they can grow in the number of users but it is also not going to work to your advantage. So I will go back to upload to just show you why this problem exists. I will click, this is where I stopped. My last upload was in 9. I will start with 8 to upload it. And we will wait to see what happened. So it will go and match the invitation or the emails which I have uploaded to the database of LinkedIn. Of course, it's not growing beyond 2,500. I actually need to claim my, my contacts. So I will accept, for example. But remember, I said we don't accept uh, emails that are not yet on LinkedIn. However, LinkedIn wants you to accept them. If you accept them, this will add up to pending invitations. The one that are already on LinkedIn, they will automatically receive my invitation. But the one not yet on LinkedIn, if we send them, we add them to contacts or to my network, they will be there as pending invitations. So let's go back to it. Sent invitation. So this is the source of this uh, uh, pending invitations that have not yet received any acceptance from the people whom I sent them to. So the more you upload and accept emails who, that are not yet on LinkedIn, the more this pending invitation will start growing. Some may actually really be fake emails people don't read. Uh, but they sign up that they are free networker. People can sign up and change their emails later. So what do you need to do? When this list keep on growing, you need to withdraw. So, however, you'll be withdrawing them one by one. So, assuming you have 5,000 pending invitations, you'll be withdrawing them one by one, and this is really, really difficult to do. But I will show you a simpler way to do it. Uh, where you will just use my in-house software, 
which I asked somebody to design for me. Instead of staying in front of computer to click withdraw, assuming I have 10,000 to withdraw. People do have about 10,000 to withdraw. So they will not be able to withdraw all of them. It means that their pending invitation will be blocking their ability to grow their LinkedIn connections. So I will use my own in-house software applications or robots to log in back to my LinkedIn and I will ask this software to withdraw to automatically withdraw pending invitation you can see how it works if login back to my linkedin account Logging back to my LinkedIn account. So, connection request is what I will use. Uh, there is a menu for withdrawal of pending request. It should go back to my account and check whether if I have pending request. It will find them. I will say how many pending requests that need to be withdrawn. I can say 1000, but I don't know how many. Let's say I put 500, or let's say I put 100, for example. Just for demonstration purposes. Well, I think what I have is more than 1,000. Uh, how many minutes or how many seconds will it delay? Let's put 500 actually. But we are not going to wait to, for it to withdraw 500. I will click start this software, which I will show to you later. We go back to my account. And we begin to withdraw the pending request. So it is interesting. You can see it is actually withdrawing the request for me. Instead of me to be clicking, it automatically does the work. So I will go and relax or do some other things. And it is very handy. You will get this software free to use for one month if you subscribe to my six months you know subscription i give it out that will allow you to test everything of it for free for one month if you like it you can maintain your subscriptions monthly so it's very handy actually so this helps you to clean your your withdrawal now and then you can see and at the end of the day if you put 500 500 will take you like one hour to withdraw depending on how many seconds you put and 1000 may take you about one hour or two hours to withdraw it's good so let me stop here and pause the the sending so instead of withdrawing the request manually i now have software to automate it for me and it is quite very handy i actually called the software 678 linkedin geo miner so you must have a strategy like this in place so this software will help me or help you to link back to your LinkedIn account and withdraw and clear all pending invitations. So if there are no pending invitations, you will always be able to load new uh, contacts you want to invite. Of course, we have you know, more than 
200 million, sorry, 20 million, not 200, 20 million contacts of B2B. So why would you want to waste time in, in sending invitations to only lie on list that will not respond? It helps you to mine details of people visiting your profile. Use it for geodemographic market segmentation. It send additional customized marketing message to your profile visitors based on your geodemographic segmentation. It will help you to do automatic invitation to connect based on second and third degree connections your geography and other uh, demographic market segmentation uh, you want to, to 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 follow let me show you a demo of some of these few features which i have uh, mentioned here and see how you can use it as part of your strategy to increase the number of people connecting with you so that you may get to 30,000 in few months. If you get to 30, people which use years to get to 30,000, but you, you, should, you should cut short, you know, the number of months to get to 30,000 connections. Well, my six, seven, eight LinkedIn Joe Miner is still under development, beta testing. But I use it to mine those people who actually view my profile. Let's see how it works. So I want to extract details of people that viewed my profile. I want to extract the details of people that view my profile, uh, whether they are connected with me or not. I will use my profile visitors. Now we are trying to put people that view my posts, which I will ask them, my programmer, to include, so that I'm able to get back to those people viewing my posts. I will say in the last two days, for example, I will then specify how many times delay in seconds. Uh, we can go back to the post or to my LinkedIn page. Uh, it shows me that these people, Mary Makama or Makman, sorry for <laughs> pronouncing the name wrongly, viewed my post. At least uh, people from Intel view my post in the last two days. Uh, but we can look from here. In the last four hours, this person viewed my post. I send a connection request to the person, William Potter, also is a resume writer, resume writer, view my post. Demetrius Pillars, Demetrius Pillars, view my post. Edic Entin, and so on. So these people for the past two days viewed my post. Don't know how many they are, two days ago. So let's say I put 50, I will go back to the software, I will say, well, it doesn't really give room to put how many numbers you want to extract, but for the past two days, I will ask the software to go in and start extracting the detailed information, which will include their emails, their telephone, their contact IDs, uh, sorry, their LinkedIn IDs, and so on. I will then use this information. You can see the first one, Mary Markman, which was the first person. It loops. It gets to the second person, William Potter, resume 
resume writer it will go on and on and fetch them it will get to them the matrix pillars it will go in and fetch the details for me and, uh, and so on and fetch all the details of people that view my profile It's fetching them one by one. Let's give it the time to fetch all of them. So once it finished extracting the detailed information of people that view my profile for the past two days, which I specified, I will be able to know who they are. And the most important thing is that <coughs> I will collect their details. Email contacts, for example, their telephone contacts. Actually, we can copy this and paste it back to Excel sheet. Is it back to access it as people that view my profile. So now I'm now able to have enough information about them. It was very, very difficult for me in the past. I want to sell with my profile view. A lot of people visit my profile. So as you can see, my LinkedIn GeoMiner will give me the sufficient information where they are coming from, their emails, their names, uh, actually their Twitter account, their company and their location, uh, as well as their LinkedIn ID. So interesting, right? Yeah. Uh, in my next presentation, you should subscribe to the four month subscription or the one year subscription. You will get the software to use free to test it for one month. If you like it, you can then continue with your subscription. I will give it to you free. But I will show you when you subscribe how to use this LinkedIn ID to make them to connect back to you, to your connection. You can send them private emails and so on. You can then sell your, sell your products and services to them. If you are looking for a job, you can contact them and ask them. You've seen that they have visited your profile. You will want to find out exactly what you can do so that they can get you employed. Many of them are first degree, some are second degree, second degree, second degree, and so on. So this is one functionality of the software. I could go on, on and on to show you so many things the software is doing. For example, it helps to send an invitation to uh, people that uh, either they are not directly in my first degree connection, second or third degree connections. Let's try it. That let's I let's use the simple one. Okay. We we'll go back to it. I will say connect with people who are who are second degree. They are not. So it fetched so many second degree. It's quite amazing. Uh, I will then start sending connection requests to them. This is one way I use the software. We are still better testing it. But you could be part of the people testing it if you want to. For one month, you will test it for free. Uh, so, I will go back and then select what type of message I want to send to them. I can customize the message I want to send to them. 
I will say loop for four seconds and then how many requests to send you cannot send to all the one million so you can send about 150 per day so this gives you additional means of adding more connections to your network even if linkedin blocked you let's reduce it for the purpose of this training even though linkedin blocked you and you are able to follow the process which i have described clean your contacts uh, withdraw all the pending messages and so on you could use the software to aut automate your sending as well so it will go in and start sending <laughs> connection requests to people on your behalf send one let's see how it does them you can go back here it fetch the email if the email is required if you bypass it and send it anyway and send the request i will pick the next one and send the request anyway uh, like i said uh, you can use this to increase your the people you are sending connection to you can customize the message you want to send to so whichever way you want to use if you want to customize the messages you will pause and then change the system and you will put your name and so on and so forth okay so this is how i increase my connection i have described how many processes now uh, i have described several processes and strategies let's 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 go back to my powerpoint presentation i have described several strategies you should use or you could be using to increase your connections delete old contacts you do withdraw or pending invitation you can blog and share and then you automate this is where we are so with my linkedin geo miner which are called 678 linkedin geo miner i can actually do a lot of things so the last strategy which i use i'm still developing it is ready i have the skills i know the strategy <coughs> excuse me is to run external email newsletter so remember that not everybody you upload will accept your invitation we have just seen a case where we loaded more than 9,000, not all of them, maybe at most for two, three weeks, you could only get about a thousand out of that. What happens to the remaining email contacts? You can plug them in into a newsletter, uh, which you will run from your website. So the newsletter will send invitation to them to join either your discussion group to register on the website and so on i have access to 20 million database of b2b owners around the world and if you are tired of you know doing automation by by my software you can also resort back to the to the database and my specific region code or even profession that you want to target you know with your uh, linkedin connections uh, if you join my website if you subscribe to my four month package four month subscription package you will learn a lot of things from me i add more things every day but the first thing you will learn is that you got to download cleaned and validated 9k lion list you will also be able to download 12.5k of people who are in connection with me this is very important so i already have more than 12,500 people 
who are in connection with me. So maybe 1,000 of them will not be good, but we sure have more people to be connecting with. And in the next four months, actually this is not four months, I'm sorry, it's six months subscription. In the next six months, you will be able to still you know, download more people. Maybe by then I will be in 15,000 or even in 20,000 in connections. You will still be able to download them and invite them to connect with you. You will also be able to download one, mil one million Forex traders database. If you are in Forex trading, this is going to be handy for you if you want to market to people who have in the past you know uh, the traded you know the forex market uh, you will go to download free software i have so many software free you can use to manage your list you will have one month i will give you one month free subscription of my linkedin geo miner it's very handy you can use the geo miner to do your automation to connect to people to market to them to send messages to them uh, you will get to download uh, the study guide one and two because it's for six months subscription the study guide one for the free trial you should log in now and download it and you have to download free do uh, free video tutorials i am adding more and more videos and it's quite very difficult to record but we are improving i will improve on my video recording in the future you got to download them so like i said you get one month free trial it's a full version you will do all your data mining you know with my linkedin geo miner so it make your data mining uh, life uh, using linkedin very easy you will get the right skills on how to sell your uh, how to sell to your profile viewers now if you also want to be with me for one for one year which is one year subscription that is just about 88 dollars for one year if you go to sales navigator they charge you about 72 dollars per month but for one year you got to download clean and validated lion list all the time you will download more of my connections and all the benefits i have mentioned for six month subscription plus you will have 20 million unstructured b2b database you will have the database from country to country of companies who are likely going to be or who are already on linkedin it's very important. So even if you are looking for a job or you are recruiting or you just want to sell your services or you are consulting, whatever you are doing, you will have ability to connect with the right people in your niche market. For one year, you will be doing this with me. Of course, I do have the process we can make money together i have an affiliate program in place if you sell a subscription package it automatically pays off two subscription packages you can refer to me we pay off your subscription uh, because i pay back 50 percent to my partners so you will earn so you will learn how to make money with your linkedin accounts for yourself or company by selling tools and training courses needed by most b2b this is who wants to succeed on linkedin most 80 percent of b2b services or companies are now using linkedin to establish themselves so they are coming into linkedin but they don't have the skills to utilize linkedin to their maximum benefits yeah, the market is huge so i invite you to become a partner people with the mind training we will give them training people with the mind tools like my uh, linkedin geo miner 
we will sell it to them on subscription basis so it's a lot of money to be made if you are willing to become my partner so you do not need to be to be unemployed right now or to be looking for job you will get the right skills from me so this is what 678linkedin.com is doing i teach people how to have the necessary skill skills that will help them to succeed or skills that will help them to make other companies succeed using LinkedIn. So my courses cover the most sought after skills needed by LinkedIn. I have showed them to you. Uh, it includes data science, analytics, geodemographic data mining, and so on. So visit my website, 678 linkedincom sign up for the free trial, or you can contact me from my LinkedIn profile. So I thank you very much. I think this is the end of this presentation. It's long, but it is worth it to listen to it, to view it. And I hope you will test some of these things I have shown to you. Uh, get a 30 day free trial, which is available. Unfortunately, you will not have free trial of my uh, LinkedIn Geo Miner from your 30 day free trial. But if you subscribe to six month subscription, you will get a geo miner for free for one month. So thank you for listening. I know this is a long video, but it is worth it.